Well, Hyundai of Lakewood presents the refreshed 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe XRT in phantom black over black interior. The XRT is the sweet spot because you're getting increased clearance and you're getting more standard amenities than any of the vehicles and you don't have to go up to the limited trim. And the rugged standard third row has these 18 inch with all terrain tires. The front has been reworked dramatically. H styled daytime runnings that run into the light bar to the top portion of the grill. It's more boxy and wide, so it has that off-road style and it fits the class now because of the XRT trim. The lower is going to get your front parking sensors with the satin aluminum in the middle and a side air pocket similar stance to a Land Rover Defender, but it's gonna be a fraction of the price. With the standard turbocharged 2.5 liter four cylinder producing 277 horsepower and 311 pound feet of torque paired to an eight speed dual clutch automatic transmission, achieving 19 MPGs for the city, 26 MPGs for the highway. The XRT is only option with all wheel drive. So it maxes towing capacity at 4,500 pounds. And the vehicle has increased by nearly two inches. So when you're thinking last year, we had a non-turbo variant. This has 86 horsepower more, that's standard, plus 130 pound-feet of torque more. Plus, we have more capabilities with the XRT because last year was only 8.2 inches of clearance. And you could fit 220 pounds on top of these roof rails, which now, they got this little hidden arm, you can just climb right up. Safety has been tweaked as well for the front collision avoidance assist, blind spot collision warning, rear cross traffic collision with avoidance assist, lane follow assist with lane keeping assist, which if you're kind of running off the road, it will push you back in, park distance warning for forward and reverse with forward attention warning if you get a little tired, it's gonna alert you, and you have rear occupants alert, which I don't know, people for some reason forget that they have somebody in the back seats but now you have an alert whenever you turn off the vehicle. But with all jokes aside, because of the increase in length, you're getting almost eight inches more cargo capacity, which you're gonna see in a second. Standard H LED tail lights, and it's keeping the signature touch from the front and the rear. Flat Hyundai badging with the Santa Fe script and XRT badging on the side with one exhaust tip with the reverse camera. And if you want the 360, you gotta go up to the limited trim. Power lift gate, which is standard, going into 14.6 cubic feet behind the third row. The entrance is still easy, even though you have over eight inches of clearance with a 12 volt charger. Storage on the side and underneath the floor, get a little bit of storage here. To fold down the second row seats, just pull it, throw it down, and this is going to increase cargo to 40.5 cubic feet. I will also expose the home plug here. And to put the third row bench down, just push the button. That's gonna max cargo to 79.6 cubic feet. <laughs> 10 way power seat adjustment. H-Tech seats, which starts on the SEL. They're heated seats, but we get the XRT badging because of the trim we're in. Standard is cloth with manual adjustments for the front. Six-way manual adjustment for the passenger. Headroom and leg room. The XRT is the sweet spot because of the features that you're going to get and you get more storage this year. So we get a glove box in the top. We get storage between the next glove box with a full pass-through. The 12 volt charger is on the driver's side. Wireless charging pad starts on the SEL, USB ports, Try climate control settings, and you have physical buttons, and this is a touchpad with a 12.3 infotainment screen. Navigation starts on this trim with Apple CarPlay, it's wireless, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio. Put it into reverse, we get a reverse camera. The trajectory will expand out. When you click here, you can make it the full screen, or you could use it for the tow lineup. The one panel screen goes into a 12.3 digital reader. However, we have the 4.2, which can go through an array of information for the driver, including the driving modes. So you have snow, normal, sport, my drive. When you click onto settings here, now you can tailor this to make it as sport derived as you like. 
and we have the dynamic voice recognition. Hyundai, turn down the climate control. I didn't understand that. Please consider activating Blue Link, which can help me understand better. Unfortunately, you have to do what the computer says. The ambient lighting will only be on the limited trim. We have the aluminum mesh inlays that's going through the center. It's a flat dashboard layout, no auto dimming rear view mirror. We do get a moon roof. The steering wheel, it's not heated, multi-function. The paddle shifts and the new stock. And the gear lever is now on the steering column instead of in the center. So it maximizes storage capacity. And going into the calligraphy, you'll get two wireless chargers and the key fob for the refresh Santa Fe XRT. This is gonna be a little bit more sporty. It opens up into a deep storage pocket. You pick this up and it's even more deep. It actually expands to nearly underneath the cup holders. That's how deep it is. And the nice thing about this is you can open it on both ways, similar to Nissan and Infiniti, which you'll see shortly. Dashboard and the door panels can figure it together. And I like the satin aluminum and you get this little pattern here. It keeps a sporty vibe and it's soft to touch where it needs to be one touch up and down for the front windows. And the storage pocket has a beverage holder carved out. For the second row headroom and leg room. And we're gonna adjust this forward. This would be where somebody like me can fit in the back. You can also adjust it a little bit more in which I wouldn't be able to fit here at all. So you have a, a few different movements there. Plus you can recline these where I don't think anybody can sit in the back. Cup holders with an armrest. We get a storage bin. And like I was saying in the front, this opens up so it gives access for the front and the second row USB ports behind both of the seats. You have some hangers here. You'll get the H badging behind all of them with storage behind both of the front seats. Air vents on the side. The door panel is going to have soft materials pretty much everywhere except for where you see the material here. And it's gonna be soft to rest your arms. The two cup holders in the top and another in the bottom. The manual sunshade is only on the limited trim. Sliding into the center, you have your own feet space carved out. And if not, you could share a little bit because the rails are pushed up. But leg, shoulder space, it's not too bad because it is a little bit longer. Headroom is actually still good sitting in the center. Push the button to go into the third row. It's gonna slide forward. You got a little area here that you can put your feet to put two more people in the back with cup holders, third climate control, home plug, and air vents on this side with no charging ports. Headroom is actually really good. I have reclined the seats and let's move this back so that way you can see the leg space. Now, if it is where somebody could sit in the front and back, it's not bad. However, if they push it all the way back, I'm going to be against it. And then headroom sitting upright to get the maximum cargo is gonna be a little bit more tight. 8.3 inches of clearance, standard turbo charge, standard third row. If you want the bench, you gotta go up to the limited trim. There's a lot more standard amenities that you're getting, and especially when you go into the XRT, because this is a sweet spot. It's adding things like your navigation. Wireless charging starts on the SEL and the H Tech seats as well, plus the power seat for the driver. It feels like you're sitting up a little higher, but it's still smooth. Seats are comfortable. Feels a little bit longer because it is almost two inches longer than the prior gen. The sound deadening is really good too. It's very quiet and you have all terrain tires. So usually you'll start feeling some of that in the drive. It's not really to be concerned about. You will hear a little bit more road noise with this trim opposed to the SEL in the Limited. And to show you some of the power. Pedal doesn't feel heavy whenever you're mashing on it or even if you're just driving it through light to light as an everyday drive, instead of giving us the four cylinder without it because it did feel a little bit more sluggish and heavy. But I like that you're also getting more capabilities because the towing has increased. You can put a lot on top of the roof rail. So if you do any canoeing, you now can tackle that. Plus you have that little hidden 
handle, which no vehicle does that. Subaru does something similar, but it's more for the interior instead of the exterior. So you don't have to worry about getting the vehicle dirty, even though this is more derived for off-road capabilities. The suspension still is good, so if you're concerned about that, I wouldn't take that off the list because it's still just as smooth as the other trends. And the adaptive cruise control in this with the lane keep assist is really good. It can go a couple miles before you have to actually be engaged with it. It's one of the best in class. And when you're thinking about the price, usually those systems are in vehicles that are double the price of this. So you're getting a little bit more capabilities. You're getting a lot more for the interior, more storage capacity. and it's still an everyday drive vehicle, but now you can add a little bit more fun to it. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to stop by Gettle Hyundai of Lakewood to check out their new and pre-owned selection.